Brooke, today is our day. We have finally made it. All the struggles, all the trials, I would do over and over again if it meant I would have this moment with you. Cosmo Bruno, my best friend, my adventure partner, my soulmate, and my Prince Charming. We made it. The day we've dreamed of and planned for for years, the wedding planning process was tough, but you continued to show me we could do it as a team. I'm going to do my best to not write things all proper like you always say I do. I have written everything from my heart, from the love I have for you. From high school, sim gaming partners, I knew that the bond that we shared was special and that there was no way that I would live a day without you by my side. Nine years ago, God put you in my life for a reason. I had always been looking for the person to match a mold of a person I had dreamed of. I'm so happy you got the new Sims game to persuade me to come over. It worked because I've been falling for you every day since. I can't live without you and I always want to be around you. I love how goofy you are and how you don't care what people think. I love being big kids together, always looking for the next fun adventure or Disney trip to go on. I love how no matter how much you dislike reality and dumb TV, you still watch them with me and make me laugh. I love how in the car, a love song will come on the radio and you will squeeze my hand during it. You truly are my hero. The blood, sweat, and emotions you deal with on a daily at work amaze me. At home, you do anything to make me happy and you're always the best caretaker. Living the past nine years together, we have accomplished many things together, and without your love and support, I would not be where I am today. Since we have been together, you have made me feel more complete, more alive, and have shown me the meaning of happiness. As I was sitting here writing these vows, I think of how far we've come, and how I truly thank God for every moment that I have had with you. From our laughs together to our cries, our growing up and being adults together we have done so much God sent you to me so you could help me in my most difficult times. The rough emotional times we've been through have shown me the amazing man you are. I'm not sure that a lifetime is long enough for me to return all you have given me, but I promise to try every day with you by my side. I promise to always go on adventures with you and stay big kids forever. I promise to eat Chinese food at least once a week. <laughs> and I promise to always be by your side through thick and thin. I promise to be faithful, kind, and loving. I promise to respect you as your own person and realize that your interests, desires, and needs are no less important than my own. I promise to share with you my time and attention to bring joy, strength, and imagination to our relationship. I promise to encourage you and dream with you to be your companion and lover. I can't wait to grow old with you. As I become the luckiest man in the world, I promise to you the, the following. As long as I am on this earth, I will make sure that you never feel alone. You will never doubt that you are loved by me and that you will never question that you are beautiful and the woman of my dreams.
I vow that I will always love you above all. You are my Disneyland ride partner. You are my lover. You are my soulmate. You are my best friend. You're the reason I get up each day and that I will come home safe from work each day. I cannot wait to call you my wife and I will love you always and forever. I can't wait to go on this new adventure of marriage with you. It always has been and always will be forever and always. I give you my hand and my heart for all the days of my life because you are my everything. Thank you for saving me. I love you, Cosmo. You're the wind in my sails. You're the pole of the sea. You're the wish in the well. You're my faithful belief. If the whole wide world was offered to me, still you'd be all I need. You're the first of the year, a warm kiss in the cold. You're the whisper in my ear when I need it the most. If I was cast on an island and could only bring one thing, still you'd be all I need, all I need, I need, I need, how do I say how much you really mean, when I can't find no words to speak, just know you're all I need. I can't feel it too I'll take your worst and the best I'll be there for you Like you're there for me Cause you are all I need All I need On their wedding day, the bride and the groom outshine everyone else. But it is also one of the most beautiful moments for the special loved ones in their lives. It is a day for thanks. It is a time for blessing. May you be blessed, those loved ones of Cosmo and Brooke, whose guidance and support have brought them here on this day. Anyway, the kids met in high school 
They've been together for a while. When Brooke's mom walks up, I ask her, do you give your daughter away to the Cosmo for marriage? It's kind of a metaphor because Brooke's been part of the family for nine years. Well, there's no giving her away. She's already ours. Obviously, everyone knows how much Cosmo loves Disneyland, and I can honestly say I've never met anyone who is more obsessed than him. Before Brooke was around, I was the one who was go going along on the Disney trips with Cosmo. I recall a specific trip in high school that I went with the whole Bruno family. There was something about this time, though. Cosmo was only about halfway interested in what was going on around him in the rides and the park. He was so focused on what was going on in his phone. I remember wondering who he could possibly be trying to send texts out to while riding on Pirates of the Caribbean, or who he was texting at 2 a.m. while simultaneously slamming the wall and turning the TV up all the way to drown out his dad's snoring. I later found out this person was Brooke. I remember the first time I met Brooke. Cosmo told me to come over to hang out our sophomore year, so obviously I did, knowing we were going to get into something fun or mischievous like we normally did. I walk in at the same time Cosmo and Brooke walked out. Looked like they just got done with a hot makeout sesh. Cosmo looked like he was head over heels. He was on top of the world. From here it was all downhill. They were inseparable. Every single dance, outing, hangout, Brooke was there with Cosmo. I honestly had no idea it was possible if someone could like Disneyland as much as Cosmo. But holy hell, this is a match made in heaven. I knew Brooke was the one when Cosmo went through the CHP Academy while I was in college. Going through it right now, I know how big of a commitment it is and how busy you are. Not only the commitment to passing the Academy for those long six months, but in general to the job and what it pertains to long hours and the dangers involved. Brooke stuck it out with him and I remember Cosmo telling me he could not have gotten through the academy without her. I find comfort in knowing Cosmo found someone he can lean on. Someone that will always be there to support him and continue to push him. Someone who is completely fine with Cosmo being the pickiest eater of all time. I look forward to all the years of love and laughter you and Brooke will have together. So if everyone can please raise their glass to the new couple. Cosmo, you are truly one of my best friends. I look forward to many more memories with you and Brooke. I love you both to years of happiness filled with love, laughter, and lots of Disneyland trips that I will not be going on. <laughs> Cheers. 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 To my beautiful sister, after all of the things that we faced together, I couldn't be happier that you have found the one that you were destined to be with. As a big sister, it's the best feeling in the world to know that my little sister will always be taken care of and protected through anything life throws at them. Cause one brook. I thank you for being the best role models of what a solid relationship. <laughs> relationship one that's built on the foundation of loyalty love, respect, trust, and honesty. I love you both so much. So please, open the glass to one of the best couples I've ever known. Brooke was always my quiet, shy little girl and even when they're little, you like wonder, and you could hurt her feelings when you looked at her. So I used to worry like who she was gonna meet and who was gonna be able to be there for her. And so long about 2009, <laughs> this 16 year old kid comes into my garage and um, probably the first person she'd ever brought home. And I remember being uh, just kind of like, uh, I thought, oh, he seems nice and stuff, but he was like super quiet too. And I was like, well, I wonder how this is gonna work. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Um, but it did, uh, amazingly so, um, and at that point in time, we had some not great things going on in our life, and he, even at that age, um, it's funny that his friend just said how he was kind of always ahead of the curve, and he was like, um, like an old soul. He was very mature in, in ways like that that mattered, and like, he, um, 
just sort of, I watched him start to take care of my daughter then. He's such a humble person, and he, if you, anytime you thank him for things, he does things for people all the time, and, pe and anybody here would know that, but he doesn't, he's, he's what the Bible would define as having a servant's heart, and there are very few people who truly have that. Um, he does things all the time for people, and no one would ever know that because he doesn't share it, he doesn't he doesn't talk about it. He just does. He just, he's, he's there when you need him for things, just whenever. There's a million things I could tell you, um, but I love him like a son. I have for years. Uh, I, when you pray for your kids growing up, you pray for who it is that they end up with. I could have never, ever picked anybody better. I love you more than anything. Brooke, you know how much I love you. You mean the world to me, and I'm so thankful and so blessed that, that this happened. And I'm so thankful for all the people here and all the people that helped us do this. Chad, you were like a warrior. I mean, everybody, but this is just, it's so awesome to see Brooks, the people that Brooke works with and their friends, everybody here, all these people that love you. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing thing. I thank all of you for being here. I'm really happy that they are married today and I wish them years and years of happiness, prosperity, and I want some more grandkids. So let's get to work. <laughs> It was a special day. It was amazing. I'm glad it's here and we're, it's behind us now and we're going forward with this beautiful couple. Awesome guys. If I'd ever known, I'd ever known how you'd forever change my life. I would up and go, I would up and go, I'd walk out of sight. But I'm glad I rearranged it Rearranged from falling apart Because you built me a mosaic A perfect puzzle to capture my heart and So I promise I'll be there for you I'll pick you up when you fall You know I'll be here When you need me to You need me to So you won't have to stand alone Just the thought of you Falling for you, my world turns upside down. The questions of how and would you love me now? And could you hold me in the storm? Cause in my mind, I would be crazy to let. Every day Stay.